Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Reading through the daily paper here, locally, call me Daily Sun, and thought a uh, perfect opportunity to uh, not only assault the media, but shed some light on uh, Obama. Okay, so the first thing we got here, this was uh, the New York Times. Obama salutes those who kept marching. President Obama stepped uh, on Wednesday into the space where Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King once stood and summoned his iconic dream of co a colorblind society, a celebration of half a century of progress, and a call to arms for the next generation. On the day of overcast skies and misty rain, tens of thousands of Americans, black, white, and every shade in between, revert, uh, return to the site of Dr. King's. I have a dream speech to listen to the nation's first black president refrain, uh, reframe the mission for a new area. To dismiss the magnitude of this progress, to suggest as some sometimes do that little has changed, that dishonors the courage and sacrifice of those who paid the price to march in those years, Obama said as King's relatives, uh, calm patriots and admirers watched. But we would dishonor those heroes as well to suggest that the work of this nation is somehow complete. The arc of the moral uh, universe may bend towards justice, the president added, adopting a line from Dr. King. But it doesn't bend on its own. To secure the gains this country has made requires constant vigilance, not complacency. Well, fuck, fuck you, Obama, and fuck you, New York Times. Because the reality is, is that Obama can spill any wasted verbiage he wants, but he has taken action to repress uh, protests. That's why we can't protest where the executive branch may be present, or we are felons and will be imprisoned. I'm sure Dr. Martin would be... Uh, not quite encouraged by your words, Obama, because he wasn't a sheep, and he didn't fall for the bullshit in the mainstream media. And as far as you being a black president, you're not even black. According to your transcripts, you're Indonesian, which leads me to the next post, courtesy of WMUR, main man investigated for Facebook comments about Obama. Maine police are investigating a candidate for selectman in Sabatis who used a racial slur and suggested shooting Barack Obama in a Facebook post. And you know what? I'm not even going to spew this filth. I'm just going to say this. Fuck you, Maine police. And I understand we can't be making threats about people's lives or suggest that anybody kill anybody. But if you're going to take the time to investigate this man who shot his mouth off on Facebook, why not take the time to investigate the validity of the identity of the man who is seemingly in control of this country right now? And that same man using the heroes of our country to encourage people to do what they do while he makes it illegal for them to do what he is suggesting they do. Anyway... Sorry for the language. I am trying to tone it down, folks. I've got your comments in mind, and I do read them, and I can't always respond to all of them, but I love you all, and I want to reach as many as possible. So anyway, allow me a few FUs now and then, because there's some things that I'm just not going to be nice about, uh, and for those, then, well, you take me as I am, or you, you unsubscribe, I guess, but uh, just to know that I am trying to tone it down. Much love, many, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. I'm back with you, everybody, because I want to add to this whole Obama thing. This really, you know, it gets my brain thinking, and uh, I think you missed a piece of the uh, whole reason why Obama's here. Now, we know that the percentage of black voters is, uh, compared to other voters, is pretty massive, okay? So if you could find a way to leverage those votes, you could achieve uh, a victory, okay? Now, we all know that Obama isn't in control of shit. He was selected, not elected. And we also know that his puppet masters don't want 
blacks to be in the White House. They don't want blacks to be anything but in their house, serving them, as they want many of us serving them. And we know that Obama isn't purely black. He has Negro heritage, but he is not quote-unquote black. He's mixed race, like most of us in America are now, and I encourage that. But for my black subscribers, I want you to realize that you were used to destroy yourself. Look at what this man has done. Look at the quotes of real black heroes that he has used to make himself sound great in a speech. But has he put any of those thoughts into action? No, he has not. No, he's not. No. And this isn't a black-white issue. This is a control issue. And when you're someone that wants to control, there's no holds barred. And it's a great little toy if you can use your enemy to destroy your enemy. Think about it. Think about it deeply. You're all being used. If you take part in the voting system at all, you're being used. Once you start to form and your numbers are big, you will be manipulated and used as leverage to achieve a goal. And, the, and in the case of Barack Obama, along with destroying the black name, he has gone to destroy this country as well. Much love, many thanks, and I hope you all are looking into the, the idea of impeachment is not an option. It lets him out of all the crimes he's committed. A link will be below to a Facebook group. Impeachment is not an option. If you're on Facebook or you know people that are, please share that um, so that people can get informed. This man needs to be arrested, and he needs to be arrested immediately. Much love, many thanks, and I will always see you soon. You've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.